So when I ask, is there a stop to thought and time? Because if there is time, that is, if there is thought, there is perpetual occupation, as most of us are perpetually occupied, thinking about various things, chattering. Mind is never, the brain is never quiet. Always groping, searching, remembering, hoping. Such a mind, obviously, is never quiet. But to perceive that it's not quiet, without any direction, say it must be quiet, to perceive it, to observe it's not quiet, then that it becomes extraordinarily quiet without any compulsion, without any traction, which means one requires great sensitivity, attention, awareness. Only in that absolute silence of the mind, a silence which is not cultivated by thought. It isn't a silence between noise, between two noises or between two thoughts. It's silence is not that. Silence demands total freedom from all self-centered activity and pursuit of pleasure and fear and so on. Only in that silence, completely, can there be that which is nameless.